Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, if you're new. And today I'll be doing part two of everything I've ever colored, which is a requested um, video series that I'm doing. So uh, I'm excited to show you some more pages. This first uh, book is Crystal Vogel's, I think it's Coloring Journey in um, German. And there's two other books in the series. I only have this one at the moment. And I have this page that I did last winter. And I really liked uh, the pine cones and the mushrooms. So this was like a really fun page with a little fairy uh, garden uh, gnomes or, or maybe like little mitt. I don't know what they're called. Fairies, I think. I'm not sure what they are. <laughs> Anyway, you know what I mean. Um, and then there's this one, which I did last fall, exactly a year, well, November of last year or so. And they're painting the leaves to be like fall leaves, which is super, super cute. <laughs> and then this little, the little baby fairy is like eating the paint. <laughs> These are really, really cute, like illustrations. I have some stickles here. I did some watercolors, some pencil, a little bit of uh, everything in here. So those are my two pages in here, and I do have a whip in here, which I am working on for, for now. So that's that book. Then we have Woodland Kingdom uh, Coloring Book. And I have a whip in here, but I'll show you my finished page. This is my finished page in here. I have a little bit of a color, a speed coloring video of how I started this page. And it's basically alcohol marker a little bit. And then there's ink tents, a lot of ink tents here on top of the alcohol marker. And then the background is ink tents. I did put a little bit of stickles also. You can see that. And to make it pop, I put the black flash craft paint. Um, I first I outlined it with the um, metallic a marker from the dollar store. See, I did a little outline and then I put the craft paint. So that was a really fun page. And there's obviously gel pen in here as well. Clearo and like Clearo metallics a little bit, a little bit as well. So yeah, I love this. Is such a fun book. It's beautiful. I want to go back to that. Secret Worlds, one of my favorite books. And um, let's see how many pages I have in here, but I saw this book before I purchased it. I've saw it a couple of times and I was intimidated, you know, by, by the pages a little bit. So I don't know, I don't know if it's my style, but then, um, coloring with Kay got it. And I was like, you know what? I really should get that book. She inspired me to go and get it. So let's see the first page I have in here. She did that page. So, so beautifully. Um, okay. We have this one, which is the, um, what are they called? They're kind of like, um, there's actually, they're not um, seahorses. I forgot what they're called. They are, I think, sea dragons. We learned about it in our, with my kids in homeschool. And they, they're very, very small, tiny creatures that look like kelp. Here, I colored them not like kelp. I color them different colors, but it's a sea, like an ocean uh, page. I did, I did use watercolors, you could see here. I used some alcohol marker also and pencil on top ink tents glitter gel pen a little bit of everything in there as you could see and i love love how it came out um with this with these pages there isn't always a clear end to things you have to make your own like ending so this is uh the next page i want to do with the little lizard this is my next page that's why it's marked <laughs> That I want to do, let's see, where's the next page? The next page is the unicorn page. And I did base the sky a little bit with the pastel alcohol marker. And the rest is brute Furner pencil, pretty much. There's a little Clearo um, metallic watercolors. But um, it's mostly brute Furner pencil, a little bit of the Derwent drawing pencils from what I remember so I love that one the unicorn clouds page this one is also one of my favorites with the little river here and the little um the bunnies in the forest 
So this is a lot of Brut Funer pencil again and some alcohol marker basing here. So that's that one. And what else do I have? I have this one, which is a beautiful fall page. I based the whole background with a, a light, like, you know, yellowy ochre color. And then the rest is basically Brute Funer pencil on top. The branches are acrylic marker. See how that's like acrylic marker right there? And there are acrylic marker also here on the green and the flowers. And the background, the rest is like root runner pencil, I think. I did add a little bit of um, ink tense paint to make more greenery because it felt a little bit bare. So that's greenery that I added if you look close. <laughs> um, and then the last page that I did is this one, which I showed in my last completed coloring pages. And it's a whip that I had I had going for a while, and I finally finished it with the animals, like in the forest. Kind of gives fall vibes. So yeah, that is definitely one of my favorite books. It's very detailed and it's in the top, definitely in the top twenty. This one is I love this book as well. This is by Crazy Art. It's called Timeless Creations Stained Glass. I got this at a Walmart when we were on vacation, I think in Florida, but it was like $7 at a Walmart. So I have this one, which is the water balloon page. And I think I, I based it with my Prima, uh, my Prima watercolors and uh, water-based markers. And then I did pencil on top. There is some Calero um, shiny paint as well in here and watercolors. A little bit in the clouds and some other places. That's that one. Then I have sunflowers, which is again prima prima watercolors with pencil on top and some gel pens. See that these are all the gel pens in there. And then I have let's see this one which I tried using all um, acrylic markers when I first got them. So this was more of an experimental page and I would say that I probably won't do that again. I like a mix of medias, different medias. I did use some glitter here, but this is mostly acrylic markers and I think it's better to use acrylic markers along with other things, you know what I mean? So anyway. And then I have this one, which is a winter page that I love with the berries. And I did use, I think, some, yeah, alcohol marker. Here's where I started using some alcohol marker. There is some metallic um, paint as well and some stickles. You can see that. So that is all I have in this book. Um, right over here, Color Reanding Life, which I got at the time on Book Depository. And these are basically, I think, sold in Mexico. I'm pretty sure. Um, they're printed in Argentina. So maybe some other South American countries uh, sell them. I'm not sure. But um, you have this one. It's a really cute uh, circular design. And I think I use, yeah, alcohol markers with pencil on top. Then I have this one, which I love. This is alcohol marker background and then some items, but the, the rest of the items are water-based markers. There's a lot, a lot of water-based markers here and pencil on top for some shading. Yeah, this is like my favorite one that I did in this book, this one. Um, Oops, I have this one, the little house, which is really, really cute. I have some alcohol marker and um, some gel pen, water-based markers. I don't know if this is ink tense or neo color. I'm not sure what's in the background there, but I also like this one a lot. Here I used um, white out pen to do a little bit of white. <laughs> Then you got this one, which is my avatar on YouTube and Instagram. This is the page I put because at the time, 
the creators of um, the creators color ending of these books because there's more books in the series they actually put this on their instagram which was really fun for me at the time the background is alcohol marker and i used a lot of um here i used the neon um like highlighters highlighters and water-based markers because i saw Daniela from Color Adventure, she is the one where I saw these books on her Instagram. And she uses highlighters a lot in her pages, so it inspired me to use like highlighters. So just want to give her a shout out there. Um, she's a wonderful colorist. I'll, I'll link her channel. I'm sure you guys all follow her. And then you got, um, is there anything else I didn't use? I love this book. See, now the problem is every book I'm showing you, I'm going to want to go back and color it. It's the problem with making these videos. <laughs> okay. The Illustrated Coloring Book. I saw this on a channel. Gosh, I don't remember the name of the channel. She's she's from the UK. A really, really cute, cute girl. Lady, I should say. And this is actually, I had to find this on Etsy because it's a British... Uh, or it's a European uh, brand, Deco Time. We don't have this here in the States. So I had to get it from Etsy. Now this book is basically has animals that are already kind of illustrated for you. And you complete like the background. That's like the premise of this book. So you complete like their background and there's a bunch of like cute little animals. So isn't that, I just thought it was like the cutest, but it's a thin, it's a thin book. But anyway, so I did two pages in here. Let's see, where is it? I did this one with a cute little bunny. <laughs> so cute. And I used that alcohol marker for a lot of the background. And I think pencil for the, for the flowers. And then my other page that I did in here is this one, the panda. With them um, popping some bubble gum there. And I think... Yeah, I used um, alcohol marker for pretty much everything, basing everything here. And it was a lot of fun. So now I would probably do darker, darker shading looking at it. But this is like an older page. But that's okay. It's still kind of cute. So that is the illustrated coloring book. Then we have um, 63 illustrated national parks i saw this book on tammy colors too and i fell in love with the illustrations like um i just love the style of the, the illustrations now this company the anderson design group they actually sell these posters you can hang it up in your house and i just love the like the style of it it's kind of like color blocked you know i think it's computer digital made but color block so it kind of made me want to use acrylic so i did my my first page was this one the national park of american samoa and i love how it came out let's see did i use any i didn't use any alcohol marker so i used just acrylic marker and some pencil so that's all i used in here is pencil here some pencil here and some also glitter glitter markers but um, yeah, I love how that came out. So yeah, I've, I've been using a lot of acrylic markers here. And then you got this one, which I used acrylic markers and some my Sioux color pencils and a little bit of Caliro watercolor. See, there's no alcohol marker in there. It's just acrylic, the acrylic markers. And I think the background is pencil also. And over here is like pencil. So that is the Everglades. And we almost went to this national park when we were in Florida, but my kids were really young and I think it was really, really cold, surprisingly that day. So we, we didn't go, but one day I would like to go there. So that is the national parks. I love that book. I definitely want to go back to it. This is an awesome book, which I saw in one of Pixie's hauls. And it's really awesome. It's three coloring haven books in one. It's the mermaids, the fanciful sea life, and the fairies. So you've got a little bit of everything. I only did one page in here, which is the fairies. I have three fairies here. And I based a lot of it with alcohol marker. And then I went over with pencil. 
And there is a lot of Calero watercolors and gel pens in here as well. So I think you can see that if I move it around. So yeah, I love this page, how it came out. And um, I hope I go back to this book. I haven't been using my like alcohol markers a lot. So a lot of my alcohol marker books, I haven't been working in them, in them recently. Nature's Sweet Moments by Jane Madej. Um, this is another uh, Get Creative 6 book, which the paper is wonderful. So I have the nameplate page, and let's see. This book kind of got me back into coloring after a long slump. Or after, not a slump, but of doing other crafts. So this one I did actually two years ago around Thanksgiving time. And I used pan pastel, but at the time I didn't fix it. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have a fixative. What else do I have in here? I have the B page. I use a little bit of pan pastel as well. Let me just open the spine here. And I used some, a lot of acrylic markers and some other pencils and stuff. And then I have this page, which is kind of like a wintry page. I did that two years ago in December for, I wanted it to be like a wintry page. So that was fun. Let's see, what else? This is a really fun book. Um, then I have this one, which I did last summer. And it's, ba and it's mostly alcohol markers. A little bit of pencil on top. Then I have this one, which I did two years ago. A little garden scene. And I have this one, which I also did in the winter two years ago. I didn't have a lot of winter books at the time. So um, some of this is alcohol marker, as you can see. And then the background I did with a gold uh, Calero. I don't know if you could see that shine. <laughs> um, and then I have the boots, the garden boots with the flowers here. And I used uh, pan pastel. Actually, it wasn't pan pastel at the time I didn't have. It was uh, just regular chalk pastels that you take the cotton ball and you do like that. So that's what I did <laughs> when you scrape off a little bit, you know. And then I have this page. Um, also has, I think, some pen pastel, some pencil, and alcohol marker. And I have this page. Wow, I have a lot of pages in here. I don't have even more. I have this hummingbird page, and um, which is no no alcohol marker, I guess, just water-based markers and pencils. And this one, which I did last summer, and I put glitter. I don't know if you can see the glitter. Um, yeah, there you go. In <laughs> the background, the the entire background is alcohol marker. Most of it is based with alcohol marker, except for the turtles, which I use pencils and acrylic, acrylic markers and um, clear metallic watercolors. So yeah, I love how that one came out. That's a really fun page. Uh, Nature's sweet moments. Wow, I did a lot of a lot of pages in this one. I really really liked it at the time. Okay, then you got right over here, uh, mystical animals. Or, yeah, Mystic Animals, excuse me, which I got at Barnes & Noble. It's a beautiful illustration by um, Stratton Peterson. I want to get his new book that's coming out, Nature's Magic. Um, but this is, I did the B page. It's the only page I did in here, fortunately. But I do love how it came out. And I based a lot with alcohol markers. And then there's pencil on top. So that one is, um, yeah, a lot of fun. Then you got Color Me Critters, uh, which I got at the same time as that one. Also at Barnes & Nobles. Super cute illustrations, and I only have this one so far, which is the Hummingbird. Um, and I based pretty much all of it with alcohol marker. 
There is a little bit of gel pen in here and a little bit maybe of pencil, but very little. So, yeah, love that. Then we have um, Art of Coloring Disney Tsum Tsum. And I think I only have one page in here. Let's see. Yeah, I only have this one, which I did last fall. And the background is gel crayon. These are Crayola Super Tips. And unfortunately, this paper is not very good. And the Crayola Super Tips, which are water-based markers, have some ghosting here. So unfortunately, this paper is not great. But we'll see. I'll still try to make it like work. So that's Disney Tsum Tsum. Then in the Jungle, the Jungle Book, a coloring book by Rudyard Kipling. Well, the story, excuse me, the story is based is written by Rudyard Kipling, the, the Jungle Book. He also wrote a lot of beautiful poems. But um, this one is a book that I got used, so there's a little bit of coloring in. But I only did, as far as I know, this page. I think that's the only page I did in here. Yeah. So far, this is the only page I did is this one. And I did the, the writing with um, Calera watercolors. Here I have some dragonfly glaze on the jaguar. And the leaves are water-based markers and Calera watercolors. So that is fun. I just, I love coloring leaves. So jungle is definitely one of my favorite themes. Winnie the Pooh, a coloring book. I love this book so much. And these are the old illustrations by, I think Milne is the, um, oh, no, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. E.H. Shepard is the illustrator of um, all the illustrations in the original Winnie the Pooh coloring, um, Winnie the Pooh book. And we actually, I read this with my kids, so uh, that's why I love it so much. Just reminds me of my kids. So this one is was my first page, and I used acrylic uh, markers for the background. There's some stickles here, if you can see, and some Calero watercolors. And I used here, I think, um, gel crayon and some water, or Neo Color 2 in here and some pencil. Um, and then I did this page the back to match, to match it. So I did the same thing here. And then I think, yeah, it's gel crayon and the little boy, Christopher Robin, is pencil. And then I did the rainy day page here, which was a lot of fun. <laughs> Um, what else? I did also this rainy day page with watercolors, basically, I color that. And then I have a, a winter one in here. Where's my winter one? There we go. This is the winter one with the snow. And I did put some glitter, like iridescent glitter on the snow. And some, I think, gel crayon. And then I have... One of my craft paints, iridescent craft paints in the back. I think I put gel crayon and then that on top. So that is how I did this one. And then there's also pencil and stuff. So that is my last page in that book. The next book is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. And this is a Macmillan classic coloring book. And um, yeah, I really love this one. So... I have this page, and uh, there's a lot of Calera watercolors in here. You can see the shininess. And I think I use metallic marker to do the, the words. And then I'm starting that page. I have um, this page, which is acrylic marker, Calera watercolors, and Prismacolor. So that is how I did this one. And yeah, I love this page so much. Um, yeah, so I want to go back to this, this book. Then I have Beauty and the Beast, which is also a Macmillan classic coloring book. And um, I have a couple of whips in here, but my completed page is, where is it? This one. 
double page spread with all the, um, the ivy with the leaves. The background, I use my gold metallic um, uh, marker from the dollar store. And then I have acrylic marker in here. I have pencil, gel pen, a little bit of Calero um, watercolors also. So yeah, this was a fun, relaxing page. I really enjoyed that one. <laughs> so that's in Beauty and the Beast. Um, guess how much I love you coloring book. Um, this is another book that I read with my kids and we also have like the videos. Fortunately, this book is glue bound, which is a shame because it's really cute. I think I only did this page, the, uh, the snow page when they're out in the snow and I used some, I believe gel crayon and here I use the iridescent metallic, um, no, no, iridescent, no, what am I saying? Iridescent glitter, craft paint. So that was a lot of fun. And then there's clear watercolor on the snow. And then I have, yeah, I think that's the only page I have in there, right? Yeah. And then I have inspired coloring, travel. Uh, coloring to relax and free your mind. So this I actually got at the dollar store years ago. And I have the nature one as well. Um, let's see. And I like to experiment. Oh, I have a whip in here, which I need to finish. So I have this one, which I was experimenting with gel crayons it, directly on the paper here. So it wasn't the best experiment. And then the buildings I just did with grays and black pencil just to kind of give some shading. So that is what I did there. There's a couple of other, like, there's some um, maybe alcohol marker. I don't know what I use. Yeah, a little bit of alcohol marker. Yeah, I can see that I did that because there's, uh, but it's okay, I'll cover that. So then I have here, what else? No, that's a whip. I have the lady here selling, I don't know if it's Vietnam or what country. She's selling fruit and with the baskets in the, Again, the background is gel crayon and there's pencil, pencil work here. And then my last, oh yeah, sorry, just show that a little bit better. My last page is this one, which I love the gel crayon background. I use Neo Color 2 here and water-based markers and some Calero um, watercolors here. So that is my last um, page in here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I have some whips. Yeah, so that's my last book for this video. I hope you enjoyed part two of the series, and I hope you're having a wonderful coloring month. I will definitely do uh, the other requested videos that you guys asked for, and it's just going to take me a little time to, to make them. I hope you have a great, great week, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.